let's go. Come at me, fools! The mother walks with me. Nothing will stop me. Watch me go! Hey, Claire. Mind if I tug on your ear for a sec? If that crass phrase means you wish to speak with me, then please proceed. It's about your bro. You know, Clive? I really like him. He's so dashing. Plus, he's all cultured and stuff. Well, I can hardly blame you for having such refined tastes. <laughs> I adore my brother, and so I understand why you might be smitten with him. But I fear his heart belongs to Matilda. Ooh, Matilda! Gods, why do I even bother asking? Fine, twist my arm. Leave this to me. Allow me. <laughs> Stand back. Nice one. There's protection. Matilda, what grieves you? You look so sad. Where hides your lovely smile? It's your sister. She claims I was showing you up on the battlefield, that it was unbecoming. This conversation set my mind a whirl. On the battlefield, man and woman are equals, judged by skill alone. But you are to be my lord husband. It was never my wish to diminish you or bring you shame. My sister is the one who should be ashamed. Such an old-fashioned idea. I will never be your lord, and your exploits bring me naught but pride. If I want to outshine you, then I must earn it by my own hand. Don't you dare change. I love you exactly as you are. And here I thought I could never love you more. Now get back out there and have at those dastards, you wild Valkyrie. Ah, oh, it does my heart good to hear those words. Now stand back while I unleash the seven hells upon these pitiful fools! today.
work is beginning to show dividends. hated how you were better than me at everything. Gray told me I should stop trying to compete with you. But damn it, I just couldn't see how we were in such different places. But I understand it now. You're meant to lead. And you have the strength and ability to back it up. My job isn't to be better than you. It's to be part of your strength. I'm not gonna say I like it. But I can definitely accept it. So I just want you to know that I'll always be there for you. Things are what you might call delicate in our village. We're not supposed to talk about the whole magical bloodline thing. That's bullplot though, right? I think it is. We've got all this incredible magic at our disposal, and we have to hide it? I want to show off! I want people to bask in my awesomeness! Plus, who wants to do real work? Uh, I mean... <laughs> anyway... I'm glad I fight for you now, and do what I'm good at. Feel free to lay on the compliments when you see me kick and tail, yeah? Show them what I can really do. This is what you want. As Miller wills it, so shall it be. Waste this new power. Retreat. Drum, sir, my report. The Deliverance forces will reach these plains momentarily. <laughs> so the peasants made it here after all. Bring me Ezekiel. I'm here, sir. You have need of me? The Zophian rabble will be upon us in due time. Prepare to intercept them. 
and mind your allegiances wisely. If I smell even a whiff of betrayal, you know what will happen. Tatiana, now you have saved me as well. Men, set your sights on the target. We march on Jerome's army. Prepare to attack. You dare? I didn't think you fool enough to betray me, Ezekiel. You know what fate awaits the girl now that she's free. And now so am I. You've ground the people here under heel and threatened my love. Prepare to answer for your crimes. Fine, twist my arm. Just say the word. Ha! Stand aside! All right, let's go. Leave this to me. Allow me. <laughs> Stand back. Watch me go. Easy pickings. Delphia? Hum -de -dum -de -dum. Young lady, it is rude to ignore people. No, it's rude to ignore nice people. So you don't count. Of course I count. Everyone counts. Ah, <sighs> Delphia, listen to me. I don't give you these lectures because I hate you. Well, you could have fooled me because you never say anything nice. You know better than anyone how I was born with a gift. All that natural talent. And yet you still want me to defer to everyone else. It's not my fault they work twice as hard and only end up half as good. I mean, I'm risking my life out here too, you know. Well, I suppose that's true. But people will soon begin to resent you if you carry yourself in such a manner. I want you to be loved by all. Yeah, because you're just the model of popularity around here. <sighs> Maybe you should try worrying about how you carry yourself for a change. <sighs> Allow me. Nothing will stop me. The mother walks with me. I'll do my best. Come at me, fools! Just leave it to me! You upstarts have brought death upon yourselves!
grateful, sir. moment. Must be Alm. Let me thank you again for helping Tatiana. We're happy to help, General. I heard you were opposed to this war. Will you lend us your strength? Not a man among us wishes this conflict to last any longer than it must. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot offer you an answer here and now. There's a village a ways ahead. I'll await you there. Until then. Yeah. Welcome! 
You don't have to feel uncomfortable. I don't care what land you hail from. You got rid of that rotten Jerome, and that makes you a hero around here. He and Nui Baba from up Fear Mountain have caused us nothing but suffering. And who came to our aid? Not the Emperor, nor the Duma Faithful. The only one who fought for us was General Ezekiel. Doesn't matter who he was or where he's from, he's a good and noble man. When I first enlisted, the deliverance was shorthanded. And yet, the men running it were still all knights of noble birth. Only one of them paid any heed at all to my or Python's exploits. That's right, it was Sir Clive. He made me a lieutenant even when the others cried no. Then he made sure Python was taken care of as well. I'm not sure Python fully appreciates it, but that's a separate issue. With so many people opposing me, I knew I'd never truly be their equal. But the chance Sir Clive gave me meant something. And I shall never forget it. I swore to follow that man to the ends of Valentia if he asked. I was raised in an orphanage in one of Regal's villages. But I wasn't a sad child. Far from it, in fact. I always had lots of friends, and the clerics were very kind. That's what inspired me to become a cleric myself. I want to help people the way they helped me. Oh, you think I've succeeded? Well, that's nice of you. I wonder... I'm quite the scatterbrain, if you hadn't noticed. Why, just the other day, I had to bake bread for the church's hungry. But I forgot it was in the oven, and the loaf came out like a stone! Of course, everyone laughed and ate it anyway. Probably broke their teeth. Sometimes I think they give me more support than the other way around. Welcome! Thanks. Ezekiel says he has no memory of his past. Tatiana found him washed up ashore one day, badly wounded. She was nursing him back to health when... Well, you've seen his face. It wasn't a fortnight before she was in love. Don't suppose I can blame her. Are you all headed to Regal Castle? I see, I see. Perhaps that's best for His Excellency as well. But the mountain ahead is cursed with a blight of fell beasts. Necro dragons spawn there without end. Or so the travelers say. Even if you've the luck to elude them, eruptions often bury the path in stone. I got 
no love for Zofia, but I suppose I owe you a word of thanks anyway. Huh? Why do I hate Zofia? Cause I pour my blood and sweat into working this here barren land is why. You Zofians have Mila's blessing or bounty or whatever blasted thing it is. You eat your fill without working a day. Life's just one big party for you lot. Makes me sick, it does. <laughs> We meet again, Alm. General Ezekiel, have you given any more consideration to what we spoke of before? <sighs> now that I have turned my lance on Jerome, Regel will not have me. But neither can I offer that lance to you. I still have no recollection of who I am, or from whence I came. You've lost your memory? I have. All I know is that I washed up on the shores of Regel grievously wounded. I was thrown in prison, and accused of being a spy, or worse, but Emperor Rudolph saved me. He gave me a name and took me in. He raised me as a father would his own son. And yes, I may have betrayed him, but never would I help you do him harm. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Forgive me for asking so much of you. You are not in the wrong. Alm, by the gods! What's wrong? Where did you get that mark on your left hand? What, this? I don't know, actually. I've just always had it. Is that so? Some time ago, Emperor Rudolph gave me what I thought was odd advice. He said that if I met a man with a mark on his left hand, I was to follow him. For that man is chosen, he said. He shall save all of Regel, and with it, all of Valentia. That's very strange. I agree. But now that I have met you, I must heed my Emperor's words. I am yours to command, my lord. What's wrong, Alm? You get some bad pottage in the mess tent again? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was just wondering what this mark on my left hand really means. No surprise, what with Zeke's speech about saving Valentia and all. He shall save all of Regal and with it all of Valentia! <laughs> no pressure there. No kidding. Wait, you don't actually believe what he said, do you? What? No. No, I don't harbor any delusions of grandeur. But it's true that we're fighting to save Zofia, at the very least. So I got to wondering if that wasn't part of helping all Valentia. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. In a messed up kind of way. Celica has one of those too, right? That mark? She... Yes, she does. So maybe you guys are destined to save the world together, or whatever. I mean, it has to be fate or something that the two of you met, right? Fate? I don't know about that, Gray. It's a coincidence for sure, but... Kidding! I was kidding! Sheesh, man. You're really starting to worry me here. If you don't laugh it off, it makes me sound like a lunatic for saying it. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. I'm not sure about the rest of it, but... 
Me and Celica meeting really could be fate. I'd like to believe it is, at any rate. Heavens! What is that infernal noise? It sounds like... Earthquake! Everyone, take cover! Allow me. Allow me. Leave this to me.